What's happening folks, it's Gangster Beast. This is game four of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. This time it's another match of us are ready to see what goes on. As the Wolves face on against the OKC Thunders, this is the next coverage of the game that's happening here. At that point, the great winning overtime has scored for the OKC Thunders all for Jalen Williams. He has made the incredible three-pointers, but this time the Wolves have to find no way they can win this game. Will this be another tying series or will this be a 3-2 to have that one pecking in now as there will be a, another great event of approachment to have that one wrapping it in for another take, tied series or the 3-1 of the series. Now the next commentary show will have the next one on as we have this B phone and he is along with the other commentators with Ben and finally the pro commentary of the crew. I have another one to take. And you all know for Detroit Cruz. It's the day that's gonna happen and let's see what goes in. Out of the force of the sideline. I'll see you all later for a post-game show. Let's kick it in! Playoffs begins now! Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Hello, folks. We are at Loud City at OKC. I'm Mifo, and I am here with Fan and Roy Cruz in the bird commentary. Standing by is Ali Laporte for tonight's game. This is the matchup as we are bringing in a big win in overtime as they beat against the Minnesota Wolves 90-89. And now here are the starting lineups. The Gordics Alexander is Josh Giddy, Dorgas with Williams, and Holmgren in center. On the other take, we have his McDaniels. He's with Carl Anthony Towns. Mike Conley, he is also along with the other, other players of Anthony Edwards. And in center is Rudy Gobert. The ball is tipped. And we are ready to start things off in Game 4 at Loud City. Here's Williams. He will start things off. He makes the pass over to Josh Giddy. Giddy now fakes the pass over now to Dor. Dor trying to step it in. Williams on outside. Cutting it down for two. And it's deflected off of Rudy Gobert. That might be the first block. I was not even sure if Carl Anthony Towns got that piece. But it seems like it's not going to be turning to be what they were expecting. Edwards from outside finds Conley. Six to shoot. Dime ticking down. The cut in. Four to two. Foul called on OKC Thunders. That will be Lucien Stork. His first personal foul and her first team foul for the Oklahoma City Thunders. First free throw coming up for Mike Conley. Now the bad thing about it is this is what Mike Conley has been doing. This is the drive that he's been taking in. You know, the better thing I have it, I mean, in, in, in coming it down, it's not what they're all expecting it now. You know, the difference is, it's like turning to be a little bit like a little different for Mike Conley. But that drive needs to get this thing over it, and then have that one coming down. They were calling the foul earlier, and they have a lot of guarantee to stop that play. Mike Conley gets the first free throw. You know, Mike Conley, ultimately a point guard in position, he has really been doing what he was always expected to. Because at that moment, it really has to go with a lot of his tips in the range, have a little bit of an outbreak, and mostly, he's got a lot of it to take all of his responses. Better takes the nap. He makes the second free throw. I'm hoping that Mike Conley must be uh, taking a lot of his like uh, stuffing on his new goals as height. We're hoping to pray for him, and hopefully he can get that more down. Here's Holmgren, finding a pass over to Jalen Williams. Here's the pass over, up to Holmgren, and there's the bucket for KC Thunders. This will be his first bucket for Holmgren in game four. Now here's Anthony Edwards with the ball. Takes the cut. Oh, what a slam down! Anthony Edwards on a brutal breakdown for the defenders of the Thunders. Now they roll up, 4-2. I don't know what to say now because Anthony Edwards have really been showing in what they did. Well, hopefully they're just going to have to try to see what they can do if they can leave it here or not. Here's Thorpe with the ball. The pass over now to Giddy. Giddy with the two. Takes it in. That will be another bucket. It's still tied up. 4-4. Four -four. 
Mike Conley right toward the wing. The spin in. Carl Anthony Towns for three. And he will take the triple range. That will be a first three pointer for the for the Minnesota Wolves. And Gordon's Alexander now finds a pass over down to Holmgren. Holmgren, this over to get to Gordon Alexander again to Door. Door swings a pass over to Giddy. Giddy, the flying pass to Door. Door on a layup. And it goes in. And number two pointer is taking it in for the OKC Thunders. Well, they're stepping in now. I don't know why they're not tying this game, but they want to have a little bit of a close off angle. They want to go for a lead, or they definitely want to stick it up to me. It doesn't matter what happens. Here's Conley, a spin round, finds a pass to Towns. Williams on him for two. And that one misses the, misses the ring. You know, you can always see about Carl Anthony Towns. It happens to be what they were expecting it to. And whenever there goes the rhythm that you can get Carl Anthony Towns, the great legendary, had to be all for good. What an excellent help on the jump already. I mean, John Ogre is like keeping it in here. Going well, for the line, let's find out. Mike Conley on the Gordix Alexander. Five minutes to go in the first quarter as he passes off the Towns. Williams under pressure. The takeover in. Fates. Step back. And it goes in. Carl Anthony Towns have another bucket. He has five. Well, you just know how to do it during this season. And this was what they were expecting to do because they have nobody else is around. Now, the paper were really well, but if you know, it doesn't mean the legend he has a great range of that. He's got to play for a better changes if he does for more. And Gordix Alexander on the outside for a step in two, and it goes in. Point guarding position is adding a first bucket in game four. And now they're up by one. Oh, a little bit of a comeback is switch to switch already, but there's only a chance. Might be just going in if they can get there. Here's Edwards. The drive, no good. Edwards, long range. Another miss by Minnesota. The rebound puts in for Holmgren. He will now swing off to Williams. Here comes the cut for Shane to Gordon Alexander. And a great try by the Gordon Alexander. Holmgren with his assist. Now it goes up by three. Well, just expecting now. I mean, here's what they all need to do for it, and now you've got to handle it. Well, there, finds Conley. Conley watching the screen in place, looks up to Goubert, and it just tips it and drops it in. That one will be Rudy Gobert's second bucket. And now it's a 12-11 game. The pass over, it's stolen by Conley. Here comes the fast break. Conley, decided to go for a lead. Moves it back. Six to shoot, and he's fouled. That goes to Shakotix Alexander with his first personal and their second team foul called by Oklahoma City. Well, that cuts what happened already. There's two chances for Mike Conley to get that thing in there. They really are just letting him be. They're not shooting what they were expecting it, but that the more contact foul, that's not going to help them go in. Well, it's just what they all do because Loud City is simply disrupting the play. I mean, they don't want that to be here. But there, there was no question out there to be told. There's nothing else out there that can try to stop him down. <laughs> the easy does it. Maybe what Mike Conley might do. He might have to go for his quote and find out what he can get there done. I do so. New substitutional players are coming on the court. Three players checked off the court. Alexander Walker with Anderson and Reed are checked in. All five players are checked off the court and all five players check in. Williams, Hayward, Wiggins, Joe, and Wallace are checked in. And a second free throw is good for Conley, up in the lead. Here's Hayward, gets it over to Wallace. The cutting, finding Joe Williams, and he misses the target. Almost close enough for Joe Williams to get over this. I mean, that would have been helpful at all. He didn't really get in there that far. They'll have to be out there a quiet moment of time effort. Gotta be out there if you can. Reed. It's the guy by Williams. Here's Joe finding Williams. A pass over back to Joe. Looks over again to Wiggins. 
Uh, and it's stolen by Edwards. Here comes a chance. A push over to the lead. A take. Block the pass. Over to Reed. And he makes it up. After a broken up play here, he now has the ball. And this one gives a pass over to Reed. They're up by three. Well, that'll be out there. It looks like that Reed almost had that one in there. Double man defender, but hey, there's an open look on the pass. Nobody's getting a good look. Here's a chase. He went for three. He ties his game. It's a 15 15 game under two minutes. Mike Conley with the ball. Here's a chance now, and a layup will set it in. Another defensive breakdown for the Oakland KC Funders. Well, they know what's going to happen now because they really are just expecting it. They can't play it like that at all because no one is given a willing to go for that point and try to cover the man defensively. they got to try to find somebody else so they can get there. Here's Wiggins. The Wiggins going to try. It's denied by Edwards. And he went out of bounds. What a great defense here for the Wolves as now it's Reed's first block of the game. As Anthony Edwards check off the court, McLaughlin's checked in, and Monte Morris comes in for Mike Conley. Both teams receive one block, but the next block might be in the lead. Here's Reed, right towards the outside of the zone. Passes to Morris. Morris, here's an open look, McLaughlin for three, and he takes it in. That whips it up here to go up by five. Just excellent. You know, I say Jordan McLaughlin just got that one coming in, the great way to have it all of them, and he's been doing really well keeping his eyes on the side. The pressure now finds Hayward. Hayward, here's a cut, and a foul call, no bucket one. This one is off the rim, and it's Reed's first foul for Minnesota. First stop under a minute to go, under a minute to go in the first quarter, 51.3 seconds. Gordon Hayward at the free throw line, shooting two. You know, Gordon Hayward is definitely really well. Just got that great response to that for I mean, this is what they all expected now. I mean, playing it for real, Got to make sure that, that is in there for great, for greater chance out there. But playing it, it's just a hard playable, and you got to go with it. Hayward makes the first free throw. Now a new changeover as the number Williams will be checking in for Williams. On the other side of the Wolves, Monte Moore switches his over to a shooting guard position. the free throw. It's a three-point game between OKC and Minnesota. Here's a chance for Reed. He's on Williams. 40 seconds left. Anderson up. What a great try. Great pass by Nas Reed. Now it's up at the extension. Five. You know how the pass is. That communication is putting in a great lot of a hard take over on the other side of the angle. But you got a great look. You got a great pass already to Anderson. He's like already kicking in here big as long as he can get there. Almost rejected. Williams up. Makes the try. No deflection for the Reed as he turns it over. But it's now back to a three point game. Well, well, well. I've never seen anybody like that. Gotta play for a real life in the game and then Friday it doesn't happen. Ten seconds left in the first quarter. Back step. Here's a take. For two. No man on him. And still by Williams. Hey, we're going for half court. And misses. That ends the first quarter, a 22-19 score. Looks like a tight game so far, but we'll get right to the second quarter after this. Both teams got a great block. That's in between uh, Jalen Williams and Anthony Edwards. Got to play for a hard take. Got to do it for real. Second quarter coming up right after the break. I think we're just tuning in for the second quarter. We've got you a live action here back at Paycom Center. No close game in between them, the Wolves and the Funders, but let's have a think about it there. Well, I know that Funders are really are popping it in there, just like it happened with the last game. They won against the Minnesota Wolves in overtime. That was 
in a wild win for Jalen Williams. He done really well, playing for the best. I'm pretty sure that I think the next one's going to take over. I think that's going to be a serious tie, but let's hope there is. New blind group on the court, ready to go. Bruce Alexander, Elizabeth Holmgren. Then across the here is Josh Skinny. He's also along with Lujan Store. Oh, you gotta play that one in there. Rewind it back. You get Brittany Gobert, and that one was excellent. You tuck it in there. That was how you did. You never seen anyone like that at all. What an excellent dunk perform presented by AT&T 5G Slam Kid. Solid D by Rudy Gobert. You know, I never see it like an artist is going to happen, but that is what they were expecting it because I was really hard and a painful playing on the look at the play uh, after on the drive. That uh, one was really hard and delicate. Nothing happened already. No good for Rudy Gobert. You know, playing a fair in the game doesn't really what they were expecting it to, but that you got to have a number credit here for the OKC partners on the defensive set. That's what they were expecting it to do, given what you got to go for. Now it's Anthony Edwards checking in for Alexander Walker as they're back to a starting five. After our last touch here, here's McLaughlin. Almost turning to be the airway. Down to the outside. Watching in. A two. Up and away. No good. Josh Goody with his first rebound. He's over now to home grade. Here's the take, and he's fouled. That goes to Rudy Gobert's first postal. And first team foul called on Minnesota. That try was not able to help out that one because Sean Ogren would have been able to take that at defensive line, line control with another take. It's something like what Chet Ogren was trying to do for. I mean, that could have been a count full of the drive. That block, he never really got that approval. Next trip to the free throw line will be the OKC Thunders with under seven minutes to go. Holmgren hits the first free throw. On for the new substitution. Mike Conley's check back in for Jordan McLaughlin. You know, I have a little bit of a strange feeling for you all call for now because that really needs to make a, a lot of a hard ones set up. They really are expecting it now because they need to play for a little bit of a hard keep of the motion. Better play is the offense and take over from Gordon Hayward playing for Butler. And then you started with his contract was 2010, starting with the Utah Jazz. Now that must be a great, uh, great education to ourselves as he played for a most of a season record before he played for the Boston Celtics. It was okay though, uh, hopefully not occasionally, we'll try to see what he can do. Playing for the OKC Thunders with the team, and after that happened, it's just happened with the Hornets, and then now he's with the Thunders. Let's hope he gets there more a great chance. Beauty now finds again to Williams. Williams on the cut for two, and takes it in off the backboard and in. Timeout call by Minnesota. 6.17 left to go in the second quarter. It's a 24-23. Well, close up match of it. They are really are expecting it now. A better change off. They were really are pushing it in there, me phone. I know they are. <laughs> hey, it all happens to be, Roy. Gotta play it when you do. Yeah, definitely true. Whenever games coming up as we have another takeover, we've got a great matchups between the zonal lineup as we have another take off of this better offensive play as this will be all the three Eastern Conference games. One game for NHL and two games for NBA. That will be all of them here on 2K Sports, only on Centipedes. And if you guys already have this third, that if you've got your tickets already, then, then hopefully enjoy the show, folks. In NMA Sanity Season 2 is back, and with a new episode of the BFDI TPOT Episode 11. I'll be the next one on its way, and of course, you will be taking a look of how he went and enjoying it from his lifetime at this moment. That will be another new take here to check it out for his new video of the, the visit experience of the BFDI TPOT Tour. That will be all in here after the finish of the show, and then you'll have an editing and ready for you. And in the meantime, just enjoy yourself, and that's going to be happening here on my channel. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you subscribe to Jack and Jellyfy, thank you. We appreciate it. 
Another shot, no good. That's long good with the rebound as it's nearing by a six minute mark. Passes over to Williams. Williams gets it over to get a door. Reporter from Alley LaForce, Rudy Gobert, actually played here. Uh, a tall man defender and absolutely has been uh, demonstrating it for his better defensive tackle set. He's been playing oh, defensive yeah. player of the year. All played it for one of his occasional and done for his a lot of his effort to take in for anybody's game. You know, I was always expecting for Rudy Gobert. Might be what you need to do for him. It's just what that happens, like keeping in the game for as long as is possible for Rudy Gobert's defensive set and taking in from the Jazz to the ultimate team of the Wolves. That's to be what they are expecting it with Mike Conley. He's still staying in there right now. I mean, hoping he might keep it going. The block to pass. Here comes Rudy Gobert on a take. The try real good, and up again, great shot chance. They're now up by five with five minutes to go. You know, you see that happen to be the coach's reaction right now. He's trying to get the rebound in there. That's one thing he was going to have to do for Rudy Gobert. Keeping it in there for his own rebound, got to make sure he does it right. The pass over now finds Gilbert Alexander. Here's a three for Williams. Another miss by OKC. 4.40 left to go in the second quarter. Mike Conley trying to roll it out. Dribble motion, no screen given. The pass over, Edwards for three. And rolls in it. That rebounds, it's the Fugit score. He's got his first rebound. Takes a pass to Jalen Williams. Over on the outside, now he finds Holmgren. Watching a change, here's Dork for three, and this one's off the rim. Goes back to Anthony Edwards saying, no freeze, not a choice. Well, this is what they all do. I think Edwards needs to find another way to get in there. And there's a two-pointer. That's what happens now. Yo, oh, man, their extension right now is up to seven. They got to get their thing closer. Here's a pass. Off to Holmgren. Oh, wow, taking over in. Nice cutting down after Giddy with the assist. Now that's what happens for Giddy. You don't take it over, you don't show him off. That's what happens to Bogart. He got a great look. And he makes it in. Rudy Gobert with a number two pointer. And it's Conley with the assist. Holmgren and Gobert both receive eight. But there might be a leadoff change for Holmgren or Rudy Gobert. And now it's Holmgren's ten points in the game. Well, that's what happens. That pass off point over by Carl Anthony Towns. That has to be Chad Holmgren taking his in on his inbound. Have to be like a better takeover you have. Here's a take. Oh, the LU successful makes it in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Conley with the assist. Look at how that drive happened here, because when you're playing it for a real apart, you've got to have that one. A great chance to have it in there. Playable is just not always easy enough, but you can't let it go flying in if you get that through. Door for the outside. Passes to Giddy. He has to take for three, and he answers it back. It's now a 34 30 game. They're trailing by four. Here in the end of the first half, here's Mike Conley. Double shot. Oh, good corner to Alexander. Got a piece of it. Here's a cut. A home grand, and he takes it in. And another timeout call by Minnesota. It's a 34 32 game. Well, you can expect that because after that blocking shot for Gregorius Alexander, he just got a great look. Great block over. Take it all from here. We're doing down the end of the first half, as coming up will be the halftime show as we have a Shady Robert Alexander's reactional of his team appearances. What will the space be doing? And for the Minnesota Wolves, will they rally up and tie the series up? And the first half statistic, right in between of a recap of how they did, right in between the Funders and the Wolves. That'll be all games here coming up after the first half concluded. Some new changes for the Funders and for the Wolves. Kyle Anderson is back on the court as he's along with Ale Nikita Alexander-Walker. All the five players are checked off with Vontae Morris. As Anderson and Reader are still on the court. 
And the other side for the Thunders as Giddy will now bring Williams as they were in Wallace with the, on the court, ready to go. And the loose ball foul called on Anderson. That will be his focus as this turns it over to the OKC ball. Well, that's just a pressure takeover. I know the Williams are playing on the court, but there might be one. I don't know what the first names are, but uh, hopefully there might be one of the chances. Here's Wallace on the outside. The pass over back to Giddy. Giddy now finds a gift to Rain Floor to Jalen Williams. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Giddy finds a pass. Here's Hayward. Hayward, the three pointer for Giddy. Third two pointer. Another three outside, and it's back up in the lead. 35 34 is the score. Take all first is in there. Got to keep on going. Uh, they've got to like, keep it slowing it down. They, they don't want to leave it. Oh, Anthony Edwards. What a slam. And a biggest of the lead puts it in for Minnesota. But seven, the lead chain six, then tied with four. I never see what Anthony Edwards said. That is a pressure to the heart. Here's the pass over to Wallace. Whatever it takes. Here's the three for Giddy. Three for three. That's on the other side of it. As he now has the lead up by one. Monte Morris watching the screen on Alexander Walker. Goes back over to Alexander Walker. The three pointer misses. He will be the rebound. He has his first. Off again to Williams. Losing the ball. Back to Jalen Williams. Williams again to Wallace. Another takeover to Williams. The pass over to Hayward. Hayward on trying angle around the key of Alexander Walker, and he has a number two. Up by nine, it simply seemed a very good for Gordon Hayward to pick it up, but that's what happens now. You've got to play for a better or a life in time, and the save it earlier is just to keep on going. Three pointer for Edwards. He misses from the target outside. 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Watching a play over back to Giddy. Giddy, the pass over. Williams up. The two pointer misses. 15 seconds left to remain in the first half of the game. Edwards trying to see if he can make a three. That's coming in motion, and he loses a chain. Williams will try to see what he can get. Will he get the buzz meter? And that's off the rim. The first half comes to a close, 39-36. You're off by three, and we'll take a quick break when we come back after this. Halftime show is on. See you later. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. They stayed with an arm's reach in that opening period. Five points, their largest deficit. And they turned it on during that second quarter, turning that deficit into a lead and playing with confidence. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. You know how your team talks about playing on selfish And in the first half, it didn't look like they were eager on this team. Now, let's get me to see this. But the assist total back up what we saw. How about you, Shaq? What do you think about Minnesota? Well, the low turnovers really stood out. They didn't get to the spirit of the guys. Nothing was forced. They had a nice flow to the offense. The guys knew where to be on the floor. That's the heads-up style of play that you can bring in the second half. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And after the first half, we welcome you back to the second half as we're ready to start the third quarter. In between the takes, all goes down for once. It's what Chet Holmgren has been really dominating this one out there. Might be playing it for it. A hard play is inbound? Yes, well, I know that's a beard back, but that's what they always expect it now to play in for well. Hard games and ever because those center guards are really like all tall and defenders. Hey, I guess they will have a strong man defending. Let's hope that the second half comes well. Thanks for joining us here as we're ready to start the third quarter. My colleagues with Anthony Edwards, and it's Carl Anthony Towns with Rudy Gobert at McDaniels in a center. How can you do that in reverse already? 
Matt's like, what is this? Matt's like, no man I have never seen in my life. All with that dunkage, and Matt is one no one has ever spotted it. Unbelievable. You know what happened right now because that's what uh, Anthony Edwards was doing, trying to go in reverse of the dog. That is like incredible. And what a great fence jump here for a fast moment that Anthony Edwards was in my AT&T, the 5G Slip game. Here's another take. Oh, Edwards, what a drive. And he are up in the lead to silence the crowd in the third. Okay, C still in the head. Oh, great. In the middle, stopping back over to Gregorix Alexander. Now he gives it off to Ed Gordon Hayward. A step up for two. Solid take here for, for Anthony Edwards and Rudy Gobert with the rebound. The take over to Conley. Conley, a side set for two. Misses, and a rebound has been loose. Gregorix Alexander now finds Hayward. Up again, makes a try. What an excellent take here from Gordon Hayward. They're back up by one. Just have to believe now because they need to give them a little bit of a, a quick motion here. They gotta take it. It works Alexander with the seal. Here comes Holmgren. Now a pass back to Gregorix Alexander. No chance here to make a double digit play. Here's another one. A three for Williams. Kaboom! Outside from the arc, it's now a four point game. Timeout call by Minnesota with 6.16 to go. You know, I always up and now because the double digit wasn't really like all that professionally because they are really are trying to like get right into work. We've got to play hard and this is what they do. They, they, they've done it. Keep it in there. Timeout call. That's right now with only 6.16 left to go in the third. We'd like to remind you about the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. Movement that inspires. AT&T. Connecting changes everything. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. So new changes for the OKC Thunders and for the Wolves. That's right now, as the as a hey, Gordon Hayward is checked out and checking back in, we'll be giddy. As Joe will be checked on the court, excuse me. Now here's Mike Conley. Try to have an answer back over back to Towns. The Towns, shuffling a motion, a try. Oh, what a great stoppage on that play. Carl Anthony Towns is not stopping it here. Well, the problem when you see here for Carl Anthony Towns, he's just making it in there. I mean, pushing and bumping and shoving already. You're know, just trying to, like, stop on him. There's no way they can try to defend it like that. Here's Dort. Back and over again. Back to Williams. Williams with another take. Back to the Bergs Alexander. Here comes the cut for a step back, too. And it goes in. The Bergs Alexander with six points. Now up by four. Mike Conley with the ball. Gregorix Alexander watching it. Gobert on home grid. A cutting down and a drive, and this one is off the rim. That goes to another foul on OKC Thunders. Jalen Williams with his first personal, and another team foul has been released. You know, it happened here before Rudy Gobert. That is what you see here. That kind of is motion. And that defender really had picked it up on him to make a heavy contest. The referee blew the whistle, and he knew he got that time. Another free throw chance here for the Timberwolves as they're trying to get right back into their segment on the offense. They need to find another way to get this one back in. And he misses the first free throw. Just how it happened now is because Rudy Gobert, he's definitely like going for uh, best French national team. Has to play for competitions if he does more. McLaughlin's checked in. As right now, something out will be Anthony Edwards. Yeah, I know Rudy Gobert is playing it like that. In France, that's 
what I'm noticing the national team was really expecting for. And with the comparison in between a Nikola Jokic and Luka Doncic, he's the only French player that has to be a tall man in the center. They all expect it now, 7 feet 1 inches tall, and the wingspan of 7 feet 9 inches. That is unbelievable that everyone has been playing for almost the same thing like Carl Anthony Towns. That was nowhere how that happened, but I got a feeling Rudy Gobert if he does more better. Louis Storm makes a three. Out of your never bonus range here for the three points. And a reporter for Alley Little Force talking about Carl Anthony Towns in a better segment. Gotta play for a little bit of a hard strike. Until then, this happened to be one that uh, he is putting in the comparison, that range and that, and get right into in the offender and below. Yeah, I know it's happening now, but there, there is no competitions out there because they didn't really notice that Ruby Gobert has been playing well, and for Carl Anthony Towns, it's just what they really expect it now. They're really trying to like do the job, and they suspended the he got it out to try to like get going in. Playing on this working as routine, you gotta get through it. Joe with the two. And it makes another one. That is the number two pointer for the Thunders. He has his first bucket of the game, 51 46. Conley finds a pass to Towns. The pressure on him. Fades a shot. Looks it up. And he makes a drive. That's for Lebanese Towns for the number two pointer. Now back the arrow away will be the Warwick Alexander. He passes down over to Williams. Williams dishes it over to the Warwick Alexander. Pass back to Joe. Joe gives it again to the Warwick Alexander. The cut it down, and he makes a shot. What a shot here. He has eight points. Now it's back in for a 53 48 game. Oh, just look at the pressure on that happened here. Before it's Alexander, he's been doing great. And it's sent back by Holgren. Big Daniels on door. Stepping about. Oh, the jam puts it in. McDaniels trying to add where a number two pointer in. This cannot happen well enough. Well, you can't do that. I don't know what you are expecting them to do, but come on. I'll give it another chance for that. Yeah, but you just say no, no. And it's off the rim. Holmgren trying to send it back. We've got the three second ball. Here's Williams. Got over Tiles. And it rolls another one out. Great solid defensive effort for Carl Anthony Tiles. He's picking up another one. And here's McDaniels, and number take in, and he's out of bounds! Turns it over to OKC Ball with 2.40 to go. Now, that's a problem now. You don't take it over it. You've got to fix it up. Do the best as you can. Mike Conley checked out as Alexander Walker checked in. The funders are making new changes here. As we go to Alexander, will check in for another player. That's right now in the corner is Wiggins. Checked in. So, moving around a bit. He doesn't ever take here for Wiggins on the outside. The takeover cut. Up for a two. And he misses again. That's Carl Anthony Towns with a better strength. Alexander Walker trying to go down by one. If he does, he makes a slam down. Now they're back down by one. Biggest lead. Everybody's turning it in right now. I mean, they're all expecting they're losing the part. They're falling it quickly. You can't let them lose me again. Two minutes left to remain in the bird. He now has it over to get to Wiggins on the outside. He wants him out with each change. The bounce pass now finds me where Alexander. The pass over. Joe. Here's another tip. The where he's Alexander for two. And he takes it in. That's number 10 points in the game for the where Alexander. The clock on the outside. Now we'll have to take it in. A step in range. Double man on it. Back outside of Mr. McDaniels. Passes over to McLaughlin. McLaughlin trying to cut it inbound. Watching out the play call. Downs over to Lawrence Alexander. The rebound up and in. It's stolen by Holmgren. Great rebound of the year. A great contest shot. But it doesn't go back in. Down by four. Well, you know how the frustration is going to happen now because that's what Carl Anthony was trying to complain to the referee. Now that one has given a little bit unhappy touch here. That feeling for him, it doesn't happen to be one. Two on the outside. Looks it over. The free pointer for Wiggins. Come on! From outside, makes it in. Wiggins has first three pointer. Now it's a 58 52 game. Now 
Alexander Polka for three. That the airway doesn't hit it off. Under 40 seconds left to remain in the third. Blenders are up and ahead by six. Backs over to Wiggins. Wiggins are outside. Now he gets it over to Ogren. Ogren over again to Wiggins. The three. Here's an out take. And this one's off to Rick. Under 30 seconds left to remain in the third quarter. Gives it over to McDaniels. And he's got a great layup in. They're back down by four. As McLaughlin with the number of six. Great pass off communication in there. I mean, just trying to do some best out there, but they really are just lighting the beat. Go up, go up and never take it. I mean, give it another shot. Down to five to shoot. Gregorius Alexander. A setback. Near in the logo. And it's off the red. That ends the third quarter. OKC up by four. It's a 58-54 game. Last quarter left to go in the regulation period. And we'll get right to you shortly, right after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Be back after these messages from Center Beast. And we have a moment to reveal the State Farm Assistant again. Just plays better than ever, but I was really noticing that. That one's going to be great for the funders. They've given a little bit of a lot of supplies here. And Brutus Alexander, he's got a great coming in there. Just play it hard you can, just keep on going. Great Passover, he got a great communication in. We are down to the final quarter. And this is where it comes down to this. If you're enjoying this one, we got the last one up. As for the Thunders, Wallace is with Giddy, Holgren with Gordon Hayward, and Williams in a point four position. Wallace now finds Giddy, trying to score another digit. He has 10 points this game. Wallace is turned for three. Oh yes, he makes it in. That's Wallace's first bucket in a three. 61 to 54 is the score. Now everybody's shooting threes everywhere. It's raining out there because the Thunder hits the pound. And that's what it just gonna happen now because they're really like keeping it in there. For a great time. Monte Morris misses the three. Ogren now has it over again. Here's Walt Williams over to Gaywood. Wallace back again to Ogren. Ogren now will have it again to Jordan Hayward. In the corner. The pass over now finds Williams for two. Makes it in. That is the number two for Williams as he has seven. Gordon Hayward with the assist. Anthony Edwards trying to catch your breath and get back into it. Passes over, read for three, and it's off the ring. Josh Kinney with his second rebound. But we're now finding Old Grand on the corner three. Misses the target outside. Anthony Edwards trying to reel it in to McDaniels. Monte Morris right towards the cut. To get it over to Kinney. And it's denied by Old Grand. Edwards gives it again to McDaniels. Five to shoot. Here's a cut. A chance. Stolen by Giddy. And here comes a chance. Here's Williams. Here's finish. Takes it in. A two drop blow now has nine points. 65 54 to score. Wild would really love that one here because uh, Epic Wild win here in game three in round two. Happened to be Jalen Williams. He has been really keeping that one here. Great chance effort. Played well. But now, I think the Thunders might have it all to win it again. Now back to Edwards on the outside. He with, with the cover on him. Three with a three. Here's a chance for Edwards. Misses. The rebound put back no good. Catching over is Wallace. Wallace now finds it again to Giddy. Giddy trying to find a cut. He gets it again to Hayward. Hayward finding it again to Giddy. He now gives it over, trying to go for a cut. Another take for Holmgren. Outside, Wallace for three, and goes in! Another three-pointer for the Thunders, and it's now a 68-54 game. Timeout called by Minnesota with 5.21 to go. Now I need to see what everybody's doing. What's all of the defensive up there? What's wrong with that? While they're playing it, it looks like they're tired right now. I think that the Thunders are just slipping it in there. But hopefully at that time, they'll keep it in there. As we go back over again to Shane Holmgren, 
I happen to be one of the or take the noteworthy who since a couple years ago played for Gonzaga and a Kansas City's five star recruits, the number one player in the 2021 class, standing at seven feet one inches, plays in center and point power four position. But they call it point four position. Why is that a call? Call it that point, and they sometimes call point four position, or sometimes they call power four position. I mean, that might be a drill trick, but I don't know why they call that one. And this is what they need to do keep it out there. And for playing for all this game, he was the first one all rookie first team this year in 2024. And the second second team was the All American in 2022. WCC Defender Player of the Year, happened with the newcomer and the first team all WCC. With the freshman team and its National High School Player of the Year, happened in 2021. He's been doing a terrific out there and played all this pressure. You know, I can always say for Chad Holmgren, he's been like, uh, what is better defensive effort playing for Gonzaga? I think that another player can play for Gonzaga if he can get it in there. That's so what that happens if he gets there too. And another take in for Carl Anderson. I'll be there to point back and score. Here's Josh Giddy with five minutes to go. Now a chance back over again to Williams. Giddy, here's another three. And he makes it again. That's 13 in a row. And it's Williams with the assist. Now you can technically tell what Josh Giddy is. He's been like firing threes everywhere. That is terrific. Mike Conley, the screen, a read. Anderson for the outside, trying to cut it in for two. Gets it nowhere to go. No rebound for Holmgren, he has nine. Just playing terrific out there. I mean, that's when you can go for Chet Holmgren. Take it in there for a better responses, and that's what you can do. To try to, like, keep the rebound in there, keep the pressure out. The cutting ground, the screen, offensive foul called on Williams. That turns over to Minnesota with 4.16 to go. A bad change for the offensive cutting down for the funders as it turns it over. You're not going to get the call successfully. You've got to have to try to figure out a way to do it. If you don't have a bright timing, just make a fixing difference. Anderson pulls it off. Anthony reads up, makes it in. After a rebounding assist by Kyle Anderson, he gets another assist of the night. Over to Holmgren. Those are four minutes. Moves it over to Gandy Giddy. Pulls up to Williams. Watching the ball and steal. Try to get it out of the way. The open three for Wallace. Cover! Another take for three. 74 58. And it's Williams with the assist. Man, a lot of city. They love the threes. They don't want to let Wallace take over. That's six points in the game. Just be out there like he wants threes. Read up. Misses. Williams got his second rebound of the night. Now he's off to Jalen Williams. Pass back again to Josh Giddy. Rolls it over back to Williams. Williams trying to separate the shot clock and game clock. Holmgren watching the play inbound. Here's Williams. He wants Williams this time. He misses the three. And it's now Anderson with the rebound. He passed the three minute mark in the period. Edwards for three, taking nowhere to do it. Josh Giddy with the rebound, now has it over again to Williams. He now wants it this time. Going for it, and he does! He finally gets a three pointer. And it's Williams with a three and assist by Joe Williams. Oh, that's what I was seeing. One Williams tried to dunk the three, and the other Williams dunk the three. I don't know what the biggest difference is, but I'm going to take a look at the we search up here. If you sure can, I mean, give it a go. The time out goal by Minnesota. They're up again, 77 58. 234 left to go in the second. As we have it right now, we got your next one coming in there. We got the Mavericks facing against the Denver Nuggets back at Dallas. As right now, it is a win or go home for the. The better play of this, of this offensive effort for the, for the game, as we might see what's going on, it could be a win or go home for the Denver Nuggets if they don't win it this time, and then the Dallas Mavericks will move on to the conference finals for the first time in 2024. After we see here for the real game, 
and you've always known you've seen that one on TV, they already made it all the way. But hopefully, the Dallas Mavericks might be able to play against the, the other team. There might be a chance there for the big it in. And it's Kendrick Williams, that's the name of it. Yeah, I was looking up over it, and that's what it happens to be. You know, Kendrick is really excellent right now. I mean, they love Penny Hustle. And well, maybe we can call it a hustle about. That's what he does. Now it's time for your New Balance Player of the Game. And your story of the game goes to Chet Holmgren. You know, Chet Holmgren has been really, like, keeping the pressure in there, all better defensive effort here, and he has that block. Just played it for a great knock top. The period has been excellent. And taking over for every other course in the, in the game, he's been, like, keeping in contact right in between the defender and defender, all about all the range. Not to do this for good. Make it realizable how hard that can be. Change up is everything. Mike Conley right toward the corner. Double man on him. Passes, broken up. Rebounded again. Screen for Rudy Gobert. And a cut. Over to Moronis, Alexander. Second chance effort. Up again. And this one will put it to cut. Down to 77-60. And as Josh Giddy will separate the shot clock and game clock, with just two minutes left, he now finds it again to Dort. He gets it again to Warwick's Alexander. He gets it over. Now finds the pass again to Williams. Williams over Towns. Shot. It's denied by Towns. I think he got a piece of it right away. I think so. I think that Towns had that one in there. Stopping on Dort on Williams. That's nowhere to be blocked. And yes, there's that bucket. Gotta get that out of here. Oh boy. <laughs> I just really never seen what's going to happen now. Carl Anthony like Towns is going to miss it right away. I mean, he got a perfect timing. Great chance. Now he's Williams with the ball. He gives it over again to Door. Williams gives it again to Diddy. Five to shoot. The pass. Three for Williams. And he will have to answer it back right away. And he just calls it to Towns. He said, I don't know if I can handle the pressure for Towns, but it seems like the hard matchup is unmistakable. But that must have been what his improvement got to be. Edwards for the outside. The screen coming. And he cut him out. He's fouled. Count the bucket and walk. Jalen Williams with his first personal. And his first team, first team foul calling on OKC. With a minute and six to go. New substitutions are on the court. All three players are checked in. It's right now. Anderson, along with Reed, and Nikita Alexander Walker and Monte Morris are checked in. And we're at the free throw line shooting one. And he will knock down the free throw. The Gordon's Alexander bringing their team to a wild loud city. We're down to a final minute left. Here's a take for Williams. For the outside, gives it over to the Gordon's Alexander. Wants to bring his shot clock and game clock in. Giddy, another chance, a shot, and he hits off the backboard and in. Giddy's got 15. Now it's Sajan 82 65. Well, you know, Josh Giddy was able to do that. I mean, he's been playing it really well. I mean, all the key for him, he's just got to be out how excited he is. Play for all of his better chance at her. Reed with the screen. He has a chance. Oh, home grand. He nice the shot. Goes again to Giddy. Over to the Lord John Tanner. Here comes home grand. A wraparound. Makes it in. Oh, man, home grand. He's been like a fire from. Gonzaga, and he's on 14 points. Now, we expecting that because they're playing in it. That's what's real is. That's what you do. Don't take it over if you can't make it through. Last shot for the Wolves, and it misses. Stands the regulation. Final score 84 to 65. What a great four mile game. And this now about to be a great extension. It's a 3 1 over Minnesota. Excellent race is. And I can say that this one was an excellent game. You gotta play for all the living and do the better chance you got. And as always, just play smart. Loud City is the place to be. Bring it on. And we'll do it here, folks. With me along with Van and 
Corey Clues. This has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. I'm Mifo. I hope I'll see you all again for the next game. Thanks for watching and have a great night. Alright, thank you so much. This one has to be a one way to make the win off. And that happens to be the Thunder way. Let's have a look at it for the total statistics. 62 for OKC Thunders with the field goals at 63 three-pointers. Then it was the Minnesota Wolves with 86 percentage for the free throws. And the fast break points was even up. Only 44 points in the paint for Minnesota and it's only 10 for second chance points. Bench points only happened with OKC Funders with 28 and 31 assists here for the Funders too. 11 for Minnesota offensive rebounds and happened to be 24 for OKC Funders on the defensive set. Two steals were given, four blocks were made for the Funders and it was three turnovers for Minnesota with two team fouls and eight dunks. And for the biggest lead in time possession was the OKC Funders with 19 and 17.08 was the time of possession of the game. Time for three star players in the game. The word star starts things over as we give a good look in. I'll give a good start off range to Gerald Gray. The New Balance player in the game with two blocks in the game with three assists, 10 point rebounds in the game, and 14 points effort. Only two dunks, 21 performance effort. I mean, what a show off. That takes over here from Rudy Gobert. I mean, that one, you can feel that loud energy crawling because Gerald Gray. Shuts them all down from University of Gonzaga. Now the second star player of the game as we go to the other side is Josh Diddy with 15 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal. 3 for 3 on the 3 point line. He done an excellent job and he has done with 25 performance effort and he has been like kicking it out and get it all you got. And your first star player of the game, well with a leadoff score, happened to be all the same time as we all have to give out with a good salute to Carl Anthony Towns with 16 points, 6 rebounds, 2 blocks in a game, 7 out of 13 field goals, and only had 2 three-pointers made. 16 performance effort was not that bad, but the only that blocks happened on Williams, and just like that, I mean, he's just keeping an eye on it straight, and get it going and get it down. As 2 blocks is playing up for every game, done for the same, just like Holmgren does. And that's going to wrap it up here, folks. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. We've got your next game coming up as we have the Mavericks facing against the Nuggets. It's going to be on the other side. Play some little bit of musical chairs and let's get back into business. See you later, everybody. As right now, being said, peace out for a while as the NBA playoffs at 2K Sports style. Gage the Beast, roll it out. See ya. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.